just occurred to me that I haven't shown what happens when you run out of time. Well, I ran out of time on this puzzle, and... Alright, now for the actual solution to this. This is one of those things that you can make a lot harder on yourself than it has to be. But the basic idea is you're going to keep knocking these blocks into the springs and moving up. Adjust this hammer, and then you're going to knock this block down, but move in behind it. Kick it down to this block. Now move this hammer out of the way, and it'll fill in the gap. This is one of those puzzles that once you figure out what to do, it really doesn't take that long. And it's just a matter of being able to uh, have everything positioned correctly. By the way, that thing I showed earlier, that was like the second time I had run out of time. By then, I had figured out what to do. This one is actually quite a bit simpler, but not really. I don't know how to properly phrase it otherwise. What you basically need to do is what we did uh, so many puzzles ago, where we had to get two blocks going through the hammers at the same time. But we have to go about it quite differently. What we're going to do is freeze a noggle on this inside spring and knock it down, and then do the same to this one. And we're going to get rid of this ice block, so that the noggle responds. And we're going to lure it toward uh, the opposite spring, directly to the right of uh, the noggle spawn point. Kick it in. Now we're going to move in, kick this block into the spring and move between them. Now we can hit both at the same time. One of them will stay in place, the other will go where we were standing before. We can knock this across and get out of this level rather quickly. <sighs> this is another one of those levels that I lost uh, the footage of, of the solution for, but I can still explain generally what to do. This is another one where you're going to have two blocks going at the same time, only you're going to have one block gradually knocking the other block uh, in one direction. What's going to happen is you're going to freeze the noggle, move it, move it through the hammers, freeze another noggle, so that the block knocks it away and starts gradually moving to either the left or the right. And then, once you've got it moved over to uh, that one block where there's a tile you can stand on to be out of the way, you'll be able to kick the stationary block across, form a bridge along the edge, and grab the dream bags. And unfortunately, I don't have the footage for stage 28, so we're moving straight ahead for uh, stage 29. Again, I'm sorry about that. But this puzzle can kiss my ass. This and the final stage, stage 30, I spent an ungodly amount of time figuring out. And even then, I'm convinced that I just sort of got lucky with this. There is nothing I could do talking right now to try and explain, like, an easier way to do this. All I can really do is just play the footage and hope that you learn something from it if you ever play this game. The only thing I can really add is that if you do this quickly enough, the cannon won't even be an issue. And by the way, yes, the key to the solution is, aside from all this other shit I'm doing, you have to drop an ice pillar on top of uh, that one spawn point. Because if you work backwards from this, that fudge pot that's along the far right uh, wall, the whole idea of this is to get a block lined up that you can kick directly into that if you lay an ice pillar on it, and then uh, just knock it down into the gap. But the way that you go about doing it is so incredibly ass backwards. God damn, I hated this puzzle. This and puzzle 30, or stage 30, which... I've seen a couple different ways how to do it, but this is the way I'm going to try to do it. And I demand dramatic music for this, because this took a long time to do.
And there you go. Now, if you're expecting some sort of extravagant ending like we had uh, when we beat the regular game, you're in for a letdown. Because the ending is just, it's saying all stages are cleared, gives you your score, says thanks for playing. And then after this, it's going to show uh, the IRM logo and say the end. That's the entire ending. And pressing buttons here doesn't do anything. You have to shut off the game or reset the game at this point. But... That's the entire game. So, this was SCXCR, playing Kiko Cubicle for the 8-Bit Summer. I'll see you around.